Hello and welcome back to EU4. If you missed the last episode, uh, a lot happened. You should go and watch it, basically. Um, yeah, I, I can't even explain what happened in the last episode because it takes too long and I can't be bothered. So go and watch it. Uh, right now, our man power needs to recover, so we're going to be, you know, sort of chilling out for a little bit, maybe, you know, five, ten years, uh, maybe, maybe five years. Uh, we'll see what happens, we might get called into war with one of our allies. We've got our allies here, and, uh, you know, we might try and, uh, see if we can maybe get someone like Ethiopia on our side, that'd be nice. What do we need for that? Mm, it's going to be quite difficult to do that. What well, I'll probably simply have to be a bit bigger in order to get an alliance with them. They're head head of tech, you see. So having an alliance with them would be really good because they'd be able to just smash all of our uh, neighbours here. Uh, although they probably wouldn't join a war with these guys, which is I'm going to have to deal with this on my own. Although you know, having this guy as a vassal, this guy as an ally, is is going to help a lot. Uh, what do we need to get these guys as a vassal? We need to be slightly larger than them, which is achievable. <sighs> right, let's speed it up, get things moving along. Uh, some Somalian peasant patriots want to return the territory we took. That's not going to happen. I'll just let them, you know, spawn and we'll deal with those when they, they come about. Can we build any buildings? No, so it'd be nice to get some armories so we can, you know, increase this manpower gain because it's painfully slow at the moment. Ooh, technology. Diplo tech. Um, sure. I think that'd be good. Yeah. So that gives us, well, some more colonial range, settler growth, trade efficiency, which is good. We're going to be making a lot of money from trade in the medium to late game. And, oh yeah, we uh, got a claim on uh, these guys now. That's good. Let's just make another one, what we can. Uh, covert. Fabricate, uh, which one's better would be two. Manika, uh, see now, they're both the same. Although we're probably going to try and take at least three in the war with them, and then we'll take the rest later on. Uh, the war with them is going to be expensive, I'm going to make sure I don't lose and screw it up this time. The trouble is that all their land, they've got like force limits of like four, and it's... <laughs> quite hard because you just you just take loads of attrition fighting them and yeah it's quite a difficult war that we're in a good spot though we should be able to uh, to beat them we're, we're larger than them we can get a bigger force limit they probably got like a force limit of six or something I'm gonna have a look let's not pause it while we do this keep playing please armies sort by alphabetical Boom. Um, and da, 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 da. Mu, 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 mutapa. Uh, I think I got eight actually. And the force limit's ten. Wow. Increased offensive. Huh. All right. Well, we're gonna need to make sure we beat them. Our force limit, I think, is only eight, isn't it? Yeah. I think got a bigger force limit than us. It's not fair. QQ, that is not fair. <laughs> Although, in reality, uh, we'll have this four stack and this three stack fighting with us, so technically we do what we will outnumber them significantly. Let's see if these guys will actually join if we do go to war. My Vass obviously will. Uh, I've got no diplomats to send. That's... Claim our rival province. Uh, that took a while to fire, didn't it? Because it was quite a while ago we did that. Oh no, it was, it's this one over here, wasn't it? Sorry. Just, that was that was the end of last episode. I, I claimed the wrong one, which isn't a problem. You know, having claims on both is always good. 
Alright. Take Madonna. That'd be a good mission to have. Or let's fight Kilwa. Uh, yeah, gaining some manpower would be good. We're gonna need to build a earth rampant in our capital. As soon as we've got enough money. Full speed. Oh, we can do it. There we go. Are we in any debt at the moment? No, that's pretty good. We can reduce inflation. Have we got enough? We don't have enough. Oh. Don't really want to lose any different power. We can actually afford to lose prestige, so we'll take this one. Hopefully, our ships won't sink. <laughs> Don't worry, it, they, they, they never do. Spoilers. Spoilers. We can build big ships now. We don't want to be doing that just yet though because we're already at our naval force limit and they're very expensive. Look at the maintenance per month, that's really high compared to like a galley or a, a brack and the bar the barracks you can uh, <coughs> you earn the money back with the trade power usually you break even or make you know quite a big profit sometimes so yeah. Okay, Earth Rampant, almost done, we'll have completed that mission, manpower is quite high now, we're almost, we're, we're almost halfway, so we will want to be going to war with these guys pretty soon, hopefully it gives us the mission to conquer the province. Yes, make Tanga a core, oh, do I, do I have something new core, do I? Oh, look at that. Alright, we'll take that mission. Which is going to give us some admin power. It's something I should do anyway. So technically this is only going to cost me 5 because I'm going to gain 10 back when it's called. So we'll wait for this to be called before we start any more wars. And that should give us a good amount of time for the manpower to recover up to a level where I can go, yes, let's go to war. I'll probably hire some mercenaries to get my force limit up to about 10. Uh, we're making a loss throughout that time, but that'll be fine, that'll be fine. <clears throat> Let's just make sure my ally will definitely join in this war. Declare war... Uh, no, why not? Distant war. Distant war. It's not that far, come on. Come on, guys. Huh. Okay, so it's gonna be it's gonna be tough this war. It's gonna be a tough one. I screwed it up last time, so let's you know, let's not do that again. You know, what have we got? Army wise, uh, I'll probably just get two lots of spearmen. And let's have. Down here. Oop. Yeah, we don't really want to piss Mombasa off, so let's try and ease the tension. It's gonna increase standings with all my neighbours, that's really good. You know, for eventually integrating people. When can I integrate these guys? In about three years. Four years ish, it's fine. Let's slow the game down a bit. Continue playing so we can go to war with these guys. Military request because they're at war with Ethiopia or Sangli. 
allied to rival. Let's decline them that. And we'll, yeah, we'll give Ethiopia access because we, we want to keep on good terms with Ethiopia if we can. If we want to ally them because they're quite big. Give me an alliance. Oh, we're pretty close actually. Maybe if I just improve relations with them eventually, they will go for it. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Alright, let's get all these guys down to here. Uh, let's supply them here. Here's nine. That's not bad. How about this one? Nine. Five. Five. Eight. Oh, rebels. This is good. If they're dealing with rebels. It's really good. Let's have a look at their manpower. Don't pause the game while I do this. Uh, yeah, they've got quite good, quite good amount of manpower, but their army's quite weak at the moment. Yeah, that's really weak. This is really good for us. Well, we need to strike now while they're weak. Go, go, go. I just want to chase that, mid find their army, kill it, and then we can, uh, you know, just try and blanket siege as much as possible, and just you know, maybe have a couple of sieges going on at the same time, and, uh, and just have a small, small army going around and uh, killing them. Right, so Mutapa actually have an army of 11 apparently? I don't believe it. I've taken the mission for some reason. Ah, oh, that's because I'm going to war with them. I'm actually going to crush their military. Okay, we want to take Asina and we will declare the war. Oh yeah, budgets. It's a thing. Forgot to increase my maintenance. Are they still mill tech? No, they're mill tech free, so they're on par with us. We're actually about to go up in mill tech. It might have been worth waiting before calling this war, but hey, it's, it's done now. It's too late. Let's see if we can find their army. We don't want to run into the rebels, obviously. Oh, Mabata joined? Of course they did, because there are. Uh, Come on, Mombasa, come down here, fight. Alright, we'll gain some vision over these provinces when we land here. Let's see where they are. There they are. Across a river, don't want to do that. They're taking attrition, but I'm going to take attrition too. I'm probably going to cross the river going into Zimbabwe as well, though. Oh boy, this is going to be tight. Oh, there's a fight going on there. Oh, that's excellent for us, if they're, if they're fighting rebels right now. Yeah, look at that. We're gonna we're gonna get them on low morale. This is really bad for them. Wow, we lost two thousand men for for from attrition. This is just a five supply limit here. That's really bad as well. <clears throat> and then he's gonna reinforce nine sixty. We should beat them though because they're gonna be. Oh, they got f free. Oh, see, we've got the mission because they they lost some um, military. Accumulate money. Take Cena. Yeah, we'll do that one. So yeah, we, we, we win this one. This is actually their capital to be worth taking. Hopefully my ally hurries up and comes down. What are they doing? If I go to subjects, set focus, and supportive. No, go aggressive. Come and siege. Come and siege, please. Alright, let's chase this military down. And crush them. Only 160 are going to reach this month. See where they're going. Yeah, we're going to get them. 
it should allow us to completely crush them. Sometimes. We'll cross a river, that's fine. Oh no, 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 no. That's not just, did you see that? Just, that always happens to me. The fucking military leader does just before I get to the fight. Really. Which is fine because the morale's so low. But look, look. I'm gonna take, you know, extra losses because I lost my leader. Oh, this is. It takes the piss, doesn't it? We gotta go hire a new leader. Ah, here they come, finally. I guess they wanted a five snack before they came down. Fair enough. Let's speed the game up so we can get our people out of the enemy territory and into friendly territory. And then we'll start sieging Cena. Okay. Hire a new military leader. Yep. All right, that's insane. Look at that. That's really good. Four, four, three, one, one. Wow, that's that's some that's insane. For for my tech level, that is a really good leader. And he got siege as well. He's got siege as well. That's excellent. So that's gonna allow us to siege this even faster because it's only four level one, right? Uh, that's for level two, huh? Oh, well. We'll speed it up while we siege. We'll keep an eye on the the enemy. Is they going to pop in somewhere and, and try and attack one of us? Um, Basically, we're, at, we're we're unstoppable now. Hello. Let's slow it down a bit. And... Detach the siege. What's my... This guy's going on the 5th of November. Let's go now. We should reinforce some time. Um, yeah. We will win. Fantastic. Fantastic. Let's speed it up then. Basically, their arm is going to go, you know, sort of recover. Uh, gain, gain. Prestige and PRT, yeah, fine. Keep our armies in good morale. As soon as we take this one, we'll, we'll go and fight them. We might get really lucky and get it really early. 21% chance. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this is going to be a close one. 23rd of March, that should be fine. There we go. Well, the siege is over. We may as well grab the, put those in there to just to fight. Help out. If they, can, if they even get there in time, they're not even get there in time. Oh, they, they just about did. Oh, no, they didn't. Okay. Okay, well, um, I will chase this army down. We might as well chase them down while they're. I think they're maybe ret no, they must be retreating. Where are they going? Well, they're going to Zimbabwe. Okay. No, oh, yeah, I don't want to go that way because of the. Uh, oh, it's, it's five there as well, but fine, 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 fine. The morale will have recovered a little bit because. Uh, we had a tick, but we should beat them, and we'll probably end up chasing them again, which is fine. Yep, 
Okay, so then again, I guess they're gonna go to Zumbero, or this one is hidden. So we'll follow. Yeah, we're gonna get him, and it, we might chase him again, it depends. Let's see how this one goes. No, we, we crushed him. They are, they are not completely dead. Where are you going? No, I guess they're just letting their uh, military reinforce there. And we can go up in Miltech. Excellent. Increases his our morale. Makes us even better than these guys. But now we've completely crushed their army and it doesn't look like they're building anymore. So I think we've, we've completely crushed them. They're not even, they're not even trying. Oh no, they, they did start constructing something there, but oh no, that's that's just a siege animation, never mind. Yeah, in the provinces I can see, they are not building any kind of force, so... Uh, trying to improve the situation, lose a bit of money, yeah. Money instead of losing stability is always wanted. And oh, we want to stop spending diplo power now because we want to. Uh, we're going to lose a load of diplo power in order to um, take some of this land, but that should be fine. Oh, there's a one stack. Crush it, crush it. Fantastic. I will siege their capital because that gets us lots of war score. Somalian patriots are going to pop up. Can I spend some money suppressing them? I can. There we go. I just don't want to have to deal with that right now. And actually, our manpower is quite low. Okay, that siege is over. That's fine. Supply limit here is nine. That's fine. War score is 50%. We'll get war operations off these guys. Peace offer. Yeah. Let's see what we can get now. I basically want those three provinces that border me. This one, this one, and this one. And I want war operations. And I want all your money. And, oh god, I can get more than that if I wanted. If I do that, I'm going to be really overextended, and uh, it might be alright though. We make tusks here. What's the supply limit? Five. Let's split the army in half then. I don't want to. Let's we merge? Yeah, we'll merge them. Just so we're not losing so much manpower. And actually, what's that? It's a split limit. 124. Let's select this unit and kill it. And then split in her. And then we'll have the free stack go into there, please. And this five stack can go up to here. Uh, no, screw it. We're, we're done here. We are done. There's a one stack there. Which ones have got gold in? It's this one, isn't it? Yeah. We've got armories now, which is good. Except that, um... We don't really want to do that. Actually, what's the point in... Let's just get these free. I don't think there's any point in getting any more than that. We can we can get more in the next war. One, one, two, three. Oop. War operations, transfer trade power. Sure, I don't think. I can make them a vassal. Oh, I can make them a vassal now. Wow. Okay, fine. My vassal. Oh, 
Alright, well that was easy. <laughs> Religion, national decisions. Uh, I thought I turned that one off. Fortify Madala. Yeah, no, our manpower needs to recover. We'll do that one. That means we we can go up and add new tech. Thank you. Thank you very much. Which gives us the first idea group, which is obviously going to be exploration. There we go, exploration. And now we just need 400 different power, you know what? Now we've got, we're, we're there. Let's switch our national focus, which we can't do for another five years, unfortunately. Stop trying to improve relations with Ethiopia. Okay, and actually, I've just gone up in Abbey Tech, so I can't core any of these, but that's fine. That's absolutely fine. We don't, we're not too worried. Now, stability. We could have the Peasants War fire because our manpower is so low. However, I think it will recover in time. Let's hope we don't have to deal with too many uprisings. Ethiopia, do you like me yet? Yes. So now we are in an alliance with Ethiopia. That means we've got actually too many diplomatic relations. Vassal, royal marriage, vassal, military access, royal marriage. Uh, that's uh, fine. We need to get rid of one of these if we can. It's going to cost us diplo power though. Ah, diplo power! Can't afford. Lose any of that. Oh, yeah, we may as well siege that back from peasants. I don't want to go to war with these guys again, eventually. Oh yeah, these guys have been just screwed by... Ethiopia. So Ethiopia, at the moment they view me as a defensive ally, they think, Ah, oh, I'm small and I'm threatened by them. Uh, eh, there's a lot of truth in that, I mean... Oh, look, I can see the Ottomans. They're at war with the Mooks. The Mooks are uh, losing badly. Surely they've got this 100%, though. Well, I guess they're all with several other people too. Mm -hmm. Ah, so what with uh, the the tapper went quite well. So we'll speed the game up now, get things moving along a bit. Uh, and actually, it looks like by next episode we should be starting our quest around Africa. Um, we'll take this and then we'll just go all the way around until we meet with Spain or Portugal or whoever. Oh, one of my advisors died. Oh dear. National unrest. Wow, that's a really good one to have. Uh, war exhaustion is quite high, actually. Hmm. We siege this one green yet? No? Come on. Oh, hello, they've, they're rebuilding their army. I guess I took all their money away. I guess it's kind of counterproductive for me to do that, to take all their money away, because then they don't have any money to build their military. But... And the siege is over. Yeah, love me. It's desieged your province. Yeah, liberated your province. So nice. Alright, let's get this guy out. Let's get this stuff out of here. And, uh, yeah. Oh, 
I can hire a free military leader. Huh, that's good. How come I can have two now? I could only have one before. That's interesting. Alright, can we core any more now? Yeah, we can core this one, 34. And then we just need 44 to core the other one. How old's our ruler? Because we're quite low on, um, he's quite old actually. He might just die and then I'll lose some stability and I won't be able to raise it. Ah. Maybe fine. We're a tribal. Wow, we want to get off this. We want to be. We don't want to be a tribal kingdom. We want to try and. Um, when can we change? Oh, I can change really soon. Oh, force limits and the manpower modifier. Well, that's good to have. We'll probably become a tribal federation because at the moment we've got a ten percent ten. ten penalty to tech costs, which is... I didn't realise I had that. That's really really bad. But yeah, this is a really shit government form anyway. I think there's a decision to change my government form? Reform the government. I need to have completed economic innovative and admin. Wow, that's a lot of, lot of ideas. Stability free. And it's going to cost me Five stability and two hundred admin power. So that's basically it's just going to cost a thousand admin, really, isn't it? <laughs> Ooh, blasphemy! Oh no, I want to gain PAT considering we are trying to convert the uh, religion here. The animists. Anyway, uh, we're out of time actually, so I thank you very much for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, etc., etc. The war with the Tapa has been a success. You know, I didn't fuck it up this time. You know, so goodbye.